Hey guys, it's Linux Benchmarks here, and in today's video, I wanted to do a really just quick video tutorial of how to set up and install NVIDIA drivers on Arch. And just overall, when you do install NVIDIA drivers under a certain type of distro that may run Wayland by default, how to switch off of Wayland uh, and explain what Wayland is and what X11 is as well. Uh, just like how to switch off of it uh, on a login screen so that you don't experience um, a lot of issues that a lot of people have been having under NVIDIA cards when you try to run um, let's say a Linux distro with Wayland, you might have um, a lot of issues as I've seen in the comments of lots of my videos. So I wanted to teach you guys how to do that um, and then also uh, show you guys some gameplay of you know, just some games on my RTX 2060 um, to just show the general performance when running it under Arch. Today's sponsor is Proton VPN, one of the most secure and private VPNs in the world with over 3k servers in 71 countries. Try it out for free to see if you like it with Proton VPN supporting Android, Windows, Mac OS, even Linux, the operating system that I use. Pay 10 bucks a month with 30 day back guaranteed if you don't like it. Also, Proton VPN offers Proton Mail, one of my favorite mailing applications that protects your emails with end to end encryption so no one can read them at all no matter how hard they try if you really want to try what proton vpn has to offer go to the link in the description and sign up today so the card that we are going to be using is my like i said just before my rtx 2060 this is like an msi one i've had it for a couple of years now um, it's worked on linux for a very long time i when i first switched to linux i was using this and it mostly uh, ran perfectly fine with the proprietary drivers um, but you know just you want to grab your NVIDIA card that you have either it be a laptop or um, a uh, desktop mostly this video I would say is more about desktop GPUs as I know um, some people have bad experiences when running NVIDIA cards on laptops because of like how like prime stuff works on Linux. I don't really know much about that as I don't have an NVIDIA laptop, but you just want to, you know, of course, plug in your desktop GPU and uh, we'll get into setting up the drivers. So one of the things that most distros uh, use when you first like install a Linux distro is that they might have the login turned on automatic. So when you boot up the PC, it's going to boot straight into the desktop. Um, so like on KD Plus, Plasma, there's a way of turning that off so that you can actually switch to X11 as lots of people may not know what X11 and Wayland is. Um, a, a quick breakdown, basically X11 and, and Wayland, uh, they make your monitors work with your graphics card. There's more in-depth ways of explaining it, but that's the majority of how it works. Wayland is the new um, compositor. That's what we like to call it, is a compositor. Uh, and it's the new one that we're trying to use now. And some companies like Nvidia haven't really improved that much when when it comes to specific things that need to be brought to the driver to make the Wayland, Wayland experience actually good on Linux desktop. Uh, while in other companies like AMD or Intel, it runs pretty okay on Wayland, or especially on AMD, it runs really well. So um, to change your login screens, that's what we're going to change, is we want to go into our settings. So I'm on KDE and we want to go to uh, colors and themes. Now this is on Plasma 6. Um, for login screen, uh, this is not where it is on Plasma 5. Uh, they just decided to move it to uh, the color and theme section. Uh, but on here on your login screen, you just want to select the one that you're using right now and then go to behavior. And there's some options here that says automatic login. And some of this will be ticked if it's uh, set to automatic. And you just want to untick this so that when you boot up your PC, the login screen will appear. So then you can actually change to a different um, desktop or compositor. And like I said before, uh, with disabling the automatic login, we should get this page here of whatever theme that you chose. So I'm using Endeavor OS theme as the Plasma 6 theme right now is actually uh, buggy and broken right now under the staging repo. And I think that's because of my problem. But besides that, um, for me, it's at the top left here. So as you can see, we have different options here like Plasma Wayland, Plasma X11 and Cosmic as I am testing that. Um, so for me, I would select Plasma Wayland if I was on AMD. On NVIDIA, I'm going to choose X11 as I know uh, on Novu, it might not behave that well under Wayland. So I have to select X11, which on the Plasma Breeze theme, uh, it would be down the bottom left. If it's on GNOME, you would go to the bottom right. There'll be a little setting um, icon at the bottom bottom right that you can select. Um, and then after that, you switch it to Plasma X11. And then we just want to type in our password to log in. 
All right, so the next thing you have to do uh, with installing your NVIDIA graphics drivers is I would recommend you go to the NVIDIA Arch Wiki uh, website to see what packages you need to install. So for Maxwell or above, you would install the NVIDIA DKMS driver, uh, which would install a bunch of other packages as well that are needed. Um, if you're below Maxwell, then you're going to need the NVIDIA 470 DKMS uh, driver package. Uh, so like for, like I say here, for Kepler, uh, you would install the NVIDIA 470. And this is a AUR package. Uh, it's not maintained by the Arch developers. It's just maintained by the community for people that uh, don't, you know, don't have uh, a card above Maxwell. So uh, what you would do is open up your terminal, do yay NVIDIA, and this will bring up a bunch of different packages that you can choose from. So uh, what we would do is select the DKMS one. And why we choose the DKMS one is because uh, this will work with multiple different Linux kernels and it's supposed to fix uh, like breakage with the NVIDIA and the kernel. So uh, sometimes when you would install the regular one, let's say, a kernel update would occur, um, you would have to basically reinstall the drivers to make sure that it works. But with DKMS, it gets, uh, I'm pretty sure it gets rebuilt every time there is a kernel update, um, either it be the regular kernel or the Zen kernel or Licorice or Zen mod, whatever. Um, it will rebuild it so that it doesn't break. So we, we select the DKMS one, which is on 545 right now. And then it will also install uh, NVIDIA utils for us. Yeah, NVIDIA, uh, actually the NVIDIA settings won't be installed for some reason. Uh, it will install EGL Wayland, uh, LibVD uh, PAU, which is a type of library, probably includes like uh, no, encoders probably. Um, and then uh, also LibXNV control doesn't get installed either. So there's two packages that get uh, that are missing after you install the drivers uh, by picking DKMS, but you would just select two and then type in your password. And uh, for me, it's gonna reinstall it, uh, but it should come up with more packages to install. And after that's done, I wouldn't reboot just yet. Uh, you would of course install the um, NVIDIA um, settings. You would install that um, from the extra repository. Um, and then also uh, the last one, which was the lib um, XN NV control. You would also need to install that. Uh, now, if you're on Endeavor OS, uh, Endeavor OS uh, maintains a package that is called NVIDIA Inst. Uh, and it's just an easy way of installing the NVIDIA drivers for you automatically. And it applies like things like uh, the mode set in your grub for a kernel parameter. So like you can actually use Wayland and you won't get screen tearing. So that's really good package if you you're, um, you know, I don't know, you're on Endeavor OS and you didn't choose to install the NVIDIA graphics drivers by default when you first installed Endeavor OS. So to actually do this, you would just do, of course, you install the package uh, by doing yay NVIDIA inst, <clears throat> and then you would just execute NVIDIA inst. It would find the card and then it will install these drivers automatically for you and apply um, certain, um, like I said, like grub kernel parameters just to make sure that everything is uh, going to work properly. Of of course, you don't have to do this through the terminal. Um, if you are in your desktop you, and you do have Parmac installed, or if you want to grab Parmac, uh, you would just do yay Parmac, and then you would select the no snap version from the AUR is right. Um, I'm really blind right now, <laughs> uh, right here. And then it would uh, build it and install it for you. And then if you want to grab the NVIDIA drivers through here, you would just search NVIDIA and then choose the DKMS. Of course, yeah, if you got the um, legacy drivers, then you would select the 470 any DKMS from the AUR. And then, uh, like you said, like, like I said, uh, with the settings, you would grab the 470 settings um, and then the other packages that I mentioned before that don't get installed when you actually do install the DKMS. And then, uh, like I said before, there was like some kernel parameters that you need to enable if you want to use things like uh, Wayland or like not get screen tearing. So you would need to um, grab, uh, you can grab Grub Customizer if you want to add the kernel parameter that way or you can go through the pseudo nano way and actually just edit the config manually. Um, so if you want to edit the config manually, you would do pseudo nano um, slash etc uh, slash default and then slash grub. And then you would see here uh, the grub command line Linux default and you would add uh, after this one, which is for me, log level equals three. I would add it after this and do NVIDIA DRM uh, dot mode set equals one, which I'll put it in the description. But if you want to do it through a GUI, uh, you can also also just install grub um, customizer and you can select it through the extra repo and then you can launch it 
that right here. And then you would just go to general and you would just add the NVIDIA DRM dot mode set uh, equals one. And then you would click save to save it. Uh, and then you would uh, reboot. And then I'm uh, back with the uh, editing the grub config in pseudo nano. Uh, you would want to update your um, grub config uh, manually through the terminal if you're going to do it through the grub config. So you would just do uh, grub uh, mk config uh, boot grub grub.cfg. Um, of course, you would execute this as pseudo and then it will create a new uh, grub image for us. And that's basically it for installing the NVIDIA uh, drivers. After you reboot, um, you'll have some Flatpak runtime updates. If you use Flatpak, uh, it, will, it will install some NVIDIA runtimes that are needed for some apps to run properly. Like, for example, uh, OBS needed uh, the NVIDIA encoders, so I had to update um, all the runtimes in Flatpak to get the NVIDIA um, encoder so I can actually record this video. Also, I guess we can try some games. So we'll first launch uh, Doom Eternal. I think that's a perfect game to show if the in NVIDIA drivers are actually working properly. And as we can see here, the game has launched perfectly fine and we can go through our campaign. I was running this on um, AMD yesterday and I was also running uh, really well with Mesa 24, uh, but this seems to be running uh, really well as well uh, so we can click continue and as we can see it is working now uh, we are recording so it is taking like six percent of my cpu so the fps is you know of course not that great but the game is working uh, on my nvidia card properly and it is utilizing it properly um and yeah that's one game we can try um i guess another one we could try uh we could do cyberpunk 2077 uh, i've been playing that lately uh, under the new proton 9 that just came out i would definitely uh give that a try in all your games try out proton 9 uh, beta is a rebase of uh wine 8 to wine 9 and it has some uh, really big improvements all right as you can see here it seems like cyberpunk is running uh perfectly fine as well we can load into a save that i've been playing uh lately all right and as you can see here i mean our game is running at like 40 fps because it's loading a bit of things but also because we are recording and that's using a decent amount of cpu um and our graphics options are actually i'm pretty sure you could probably do uh dlss we set it to auto and I mean, the game is running right now. Uh, not necessarily great. Uh, on my AMD card, I can pull about like 80 FPS on it, but on this RTX 2060, I'm only getting around like 45. So not that great, even with DLSS being used right now. Um, I'm, like I said, I, I am recording as well, which adds 8% of CPU added onto this. Um, so if I stop recording, it probably would get uh, a bit better. We may reach like 60 FPS. Um, but I guess that since this game does work, that means the <laughs> NVIDIA card's working properly. We can also uh, play a game that I've been playing a lot lately, which is the finals. Uh, it's a multiplayer FPS shooter. Um, I have did test this uh, a couple days ago on my NVIDIA card and it seemed to work perfectly fine. Uh, not the greatest uh, like FPS wise as my RX uh, 6700 can do a lot more uh, FPS on it, but it does launch and it does work properly. And it did seem like there was some people that were getting some uh, issues with the finals under NVIDIA GPUs. Um, I'm not, uh, all you have to do is like launch the game and just wait a bit on the black screen for it to start loading the shaders properly. And then as we can see here, the pre-compiling shader pipelines has showed up. Um, and now it's just going to you know, compile the shaders for us. So overall, um, I would say installing NVIDIA drivers on Arch um, is a bit confusing for new users, I would say. I would definitely not, not recommend this for uh, new users. Uh, if you're an experienced user in Linux, I think this will, you'll understand this like straight away of how to um, install the NVIDIA DKMS and um, enable the mode sets so like Wayland can work properly. Um, but for, I would say for the average user, I would say don't run this. Um, you can at least, you can try it if you want to, uh, if you want to muck around and mess with things. But um, I would say, you know, if you, if you want to run Linux with an NVIDIA card, uh, there is distros like PopOS, um, Linux Mint, uh, Nabora on the Bara, uh, which pre-install the NVIDIA drivers for you. So you don't have to really muck around and set all these things up manually. All right, now it's, it's finally done compiling the uh, shaders for us. Uh, we can finally get 
get into the game and we can go, I guess, straight into the practice range um, and just show you guys some more gameplay. Now, of course, uh, you can run this under Wayland. Uh, you can definitely try it. Like I said before, with the login window, uh, you just go to your login. You're either to the bottom left, the bottom right, or the top left, depending on the theme that you have set on KDE. Or if you're running GNOME, that it'll just be bottom right with a little settings icon. When you click enter to type in your password, there's a little settings icon. Um, you can select Wayland and see how that goes. Uh, but don't be surprised if you do experience uh, some random like issue uh, when it comes to like maybe playing a specific game or just general the desktop experience might not be that great and as we can see here it is running uh not that great around like 60 fps which i mean is okay you probably could play this but it wouldn't be that great necessarily uh, but yeah the game is working properly most things are running we can switch to different weapons we can fire things we can reload things um, and yeah, so in the end, conclusion, um, I think that this was not an easy experience when it comes to installing NVIDIA drivers on Arch systems. Um, if you are, like I said, if you are a new user to Linux, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this on an, installing Arch or Endeavor OS and then installing the NVIDIA drivers manually. Um, you can use the NVIDIA instance tool that uh, does do a really good job of installing the drivers for you. But uh, I guess I'll wrap it up here. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. Uh, you definitely can subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're past 3K subscribers, which is insane. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, and thank you to my supporters as per usual. And to the um, sponsor, uh, which is Proton VPN. Uh, definitely click the link below if you want to try out Proton VPN or Proton Mail. I use Proton Mail and it's great. It works way better than Gmail, I would say. And uh, yeah, that's done it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully Plasma 6. I'll make a Plasma 6 review. Uh, I'll show you guys all the new little uh, new features and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.